Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing good. Let's start the another interesting topics of WebRTC tutorial series. Today let us learn how to design a WebRTC chat room application. I think most of them are waiting for this video. First of all, welcome all to Engineering Semester channel. Here we are providing new emerging technologies tutorials. <music> If you are new to this channel or new to this WebRTC series, please go and watch our introduction part first. Now let's get into it. For every application, we required UI for front end and a server for back end. In WebRTC, we all are know that it required signaling server to exchange users' metadata. Now we are going to build a website for WebRTC chat room. Here, we should consider what are the programming language we can use for client and server. If it is website, sure the client should be a web page. Let us take simple HTML and CSS for front-end development. If you want any specific UI framework, we can select Bootstrap. Bootstrap is a free and open-source CSS framework for building responsive front-end web development. All the front-end logic, we can choose JavaScript. Since WebRTC is based on JavaScript library, we can select JavaScript for our front-end logic. Now the remaining is server-side. In the last video we have discussed Node.js with WebSocket. So for easiness we can use Node.js with WebSocket for our server-side application. Come to the main requirement for the features of our WebRTC chat room. Definitely user can log in to chat room application. This should ensure the user session. Next we have to maintain the online user list. Whoever logged to the application, then the other user shall see the list of online users. Any user can request for a chat room with other user. If the WebRTC connection process successfully complete, then the chat room will be enabled. One important things to remember here. This application is only support for one-to-one -one chatting. That means one user can create a chat room with another user. They can send message each other. Time being we are going to create only text chatting application. Later we can create multi-room chat application with file sharing. Now let us focus on text chatting application. Design is required for WebRTC also. This will be depending on what are the WebRTC components we are going to use in our application. We already know that RTC peer connection object is the core part of WebRTC. So once user log to application and request for room, then RTC peer connection object needs to be created. RTC data channel needs to be added for each user for sending text data. Then SDP offer, answer and ICE candidate should be shared through signaling server. So in general, Node.js server should handle all these WebRTC requests across the user. Once all the negotiations complete, we can successfully create the room for chatting. Here we have designed a high-level sequence diagram for our chat application. You can see that Node.js WebSocket is listening for user requests and sending responses back. The main role of this Node.js server here is to support WebRTC signaling. Each user will be shared offer and answer to server. Server has to send these requests to corresponding user. All the UI handling we can do it in the HTML page with JavaScript. We hope you got a good understanding of the chat room application design. We can see the complete application programming in the next video. That's it for now. If you are thinking this is informative, then like and share subscribe. Also support us. See you soon with another video. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.